Adam, what an absolute pleasure it is to have you in the Good Chef, Bad Chef kitchen because I know you're going to cook us an amazing feast. What are we doing today? Today, Richie, we're doing a one-pot wonder. All right. Th that's what they say about me. <laughs> oh, I don't want to know about that. But look, we're using the San Remo Rizzoni, mussels, tomato, chilli, garlic, bit of feta and some peas. Beautiful. And it's all going to go into one pot and then serve it up. Yeah, this one you take to the table, family and friends around, dish it up, nice and simple, bit of crusty bread if you like, but no need, I think. Now, what do we start with? All right, get you on to slicing up some tomatoes. I'm well. going to get the garlic going. So just roughly, Richard, okay? No need to be fancy pants and sit here and chop it all day, right? No. It's a real rustica dish. Fancy pants. That's, you're the fancy pants person, not me. <laughs> we'll start with some olive oil in the pan. We'll get that on. So garlic in, that goes, mate. Now, you've preheated that pot, so it's got a bit of heat in it already. Yeah, definitely. So she's sitting about medium heat. Chilli with the seed. Just I like bit. that. Now, mussels, is that something you would have in South Australia all Ooh, the time? Oh, yes. Tell me about it, mate. Obviously, beautiful Port Lincoln mussels are using. Wonderful, wonderful. Super clean and tasty. Now, the thing with mussels too, Richo, when you put them in there, they should pop open, they steam open. If they don't, yep. if the shell doesn't open, no good, don't eat, yeah? And the other thing is you've gone through and you've taken the beard out already and cleaned them. Yes. And the most important thing is you always go to a really good fishmonger and buy your mussels fresh on the day you're going to use them. I couldn't agree more, mate. Or you go for a swim around the pier. What's that pier near you? <laughs> and pull them off. You reckon down at yeah. Glenelg? I don't know, mate. Yeah, yes, here we go. I don't know what's going on there. That smells amazing. Olive oil, garlic, yep. chilli. Tomatoes in, please. Okay, in they go. In they go. We've got our fish stock over here on the boil as well, which is great. So we're looking for those tomatoes to break down. Now, what helps the tomatoes break down is a little bit of salt. Oh, I know I love you love that. salt. I love that. I love that. You love the salt, mate. And the right amount of salt. You know, not, none of these little pinches, these tiny half a flake. You put in some salt to make it taste good. You've got to add a bit of flavour. It's OK. It's all good. In with some uh, crushed tomato also. I love that. If you wanted to, you could just add more fresh tomato. But yep. crushed... Crushed no tomatoes got good flavour as well, hasn't it? It is, and obviously, yeah. you know, it's all year round. We can get this hands on it, you know, have it in the pantry. Now, mussels need to get into there. Throw the whole lot in? Throw them in, mate. Here we go. Lovely. Beautiful. Now, yeah. you're hoping to get some of the juice from the mussel as well? Ah, OK. Yes, the juice, obviously, they'll pop open, release all that wonderful flavour, but adding the extra fish stock will help. And then we're going to put the lid on, cook these for about two to three minutes, add in our pasta into the one pot. So the risotto is going to cook in that pot with all that ah. flavour. I thought you were going to put this in the in the fish stock. No, but... no, 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 Richard. One pot, one uh, pot wonder, my oh, man. Gotcha, but you got two pots there. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> you always want to chuck a curveball at me, don't you, mate? Cheeky bugger. All right. All right, so in that goes. We may add a little bit more fish stock in a minute. We'll have a look. Gotcha. But on with the lid and allow them to steam, and then we'll add in the pasta. That looks so easy. Okay, Richard, let's have a look at these mussels. Whoa, look at them popping open there, mate. They're ready to go. You like that? Now, I would just pull them out and eat them like that, but you're going to torture me for longer. I'm going to torture for another eight minutes. We're going to add in our wonderful risotto pasta. Okay, so eight minutes in the pot. In she goes. Throw it in there like that. Like that. Ah, right. lovely. Give a little stir. Yeah. Make sure it's underneath the liquid. Good man. Yeah, it'll sort of steam and soak up all the juices as well. It's going to take on the flavour and also what it's going to do is thicken it up also a little okay. bit, yeah? So we get this beautiful, nice, rich sauciness to uh, our dish. Gotcha. I like the thickening part of it is the bit I like. So, you know, it'll almost be like a, a one-pot pasta dish with lots of flavour in there and juiciness. and galore, Fantastic. Flavour galore. Do you want me to cut this for you? Chop up some parsley. So at the end, we'll add in the parsley, some peas, OK? And then some feta over the top. The feta is the Greek side of me. Yeah, just a little bit of creaminess and richness to finish off the dish. You love throwing in Greek ingredients just at the end, don't you? Yeah, you can mix the cultures, Italian and Greek. Works well. Oh, we'll see about this one. Have a look at that, Rito. All the muscles are popped open. That wonderful risoni. Yeah. It looks that? great. You know what, what you said about uh, thickening the sauce up? It's almost like a really, ris like a risotto in there at the moment. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But in the one pot, nice and easy. Peas. Boom. In they go. Done. Good. Some parsley, please, sir. Parsley goes in there as well. I love yeah. the way you finish off a good pasta dish with fresh herbs. It's really important. At the end, yeah. Yep. Always at the end. Nice and fresh. Keeps its colour and flavour. Yeah. That's what you're looking for? And with mussels, you can't go wrong. I love that. That's fantastic. That's a simple way of putting it together. It's almost yeah. like a paella, almost, isn't it? With mussels. I think it's the Italian version. You exactly, know what I mean? yeah. But better, you know, instead oh. of the Spanish one where you burn the bottom of the rice, <laughs> you cook it with pasta. Yeah. Will you stop plating it up? I just, I, want, I just want to keep piling it and make <laughs> it bigger, nice and tall like me. Now, yeah. 
the feta on the top of it. That's the Greek thing. You love putting Greek ingredients on top of everything. But you know what? I reckon it works. You got that saltiness and that creaminess. All right. Get in there. In there. I'll grab a mussel straight out of there. Mussel. I'm and going I'm gonna set up some of the feta on there as well, some risoni on there as well. As one big, it's almost like a mussel shooter. Mmm. That's outstanding. I really love the tomato in there, the herbs in there. It's a great dish for feeding a lot of people. Well done. Thanks, mate.